All right. Okay, so you can hear me, right? Uh, so I'm going to start. Uh, no worries uh, if you can't answer me. All participants are being mute. Uh, okay, if you have any question, okay, please go to uh, the meeting chat. It is here. All right, just click and uh, you can okay, wait. I'll just uh, quit my WhatsApp. All right, okay. Uh, all right, so, uh, okay, thank you, Nadia Rose. Okay, loud and clear, Alhamdulillah. All right, so if let's say you have uh, any question, just type your message here, okay, in the meeting chat. Okay, I will uh, gradually uh, look at the meeting chat uh, during my uh, session to answer your question, yeah? All right, so for today, um, I'm going to uh, talk about achieving blended learning assessment criteria in ELEN at USM, USM using Quizlet. So um, uh, first, I'm going to uh, discuss about, uh, I'm going to uh, introduce a little bit about USM's blended learning criteria, which is required by uh, uh, Ministry of Higher Education. All right. So, I think uh, most of uh, the, the le USM lecturers, they are not aware of this particular blended learning criteria that we have invented uh, earlier this year, whereby it is much more easier for uh, our lecturers to achieve the blended learning criteria compared to um, before, before uh, last year, okay? Compared to last year, it was uh, quite uh, hard for the lecturers to uh, achieve blended learning criteria in e-learn at USM, okay? However, for this year, it is much more easier for you all to achieve that, all right? And then, uh, we are going to explore Quizlet, all right? Quizlet uh, and apps that uh, can be embedded in e-learn at USM and you can achieve the assessment uh, blended learning criteria, which is, uh, I found that most of us as lecturers found it problematic to achieve in ELEN. Okay, you think that it is, uh, it is uh, quite hard to achieve the blended learning assessment criteria. Okay, so we are going to use Quizlet for today to achieve that particular purpose. And then, after we have explored Quizlet, we are going to embed Quizlet in ELEN USM. All right. If I've got time, I'll show you a little bit on Flipgrid. It is quite similar, but to how to embed it in ELEN uh, at USM so that um, you will have a variety of embedding activities in your uh, ELEN. Okay. So if time permits, yeah, I hope I have time for that. All right, so this is what we are going to do today. All right, if you have a computer in front of you, you can um, try to do it uh, together with me. All right, so that uh, you'll be able to um, explore while I'm doing it here. All right, so if let's say I'm uh, too fast, please uh, let me know, okay? Because sometimes I get, you know, uh, to be very fast and I hope that, uh, you can follow my pace, lah, yeah? All right, so anything, just leave uh, uh, any message here and I'll look at it uh, during uh, I'm giving the training. All right, so remember when you come in, please mute your voice, your, your microphone, okay? If you have question, if you uh, really want to ask me something, you can unmute and ask me uh, while I'm giving the presentation. No worries about that, all right? Okay, so I'm going to give uh, to tell you something. Okay, first, okay, I'm going to introduce you to this one. Okay, all right. So, how to achieve a blended learning course? All right, can you see this guideline on how to achieve blended blended learning course? All right, this particular documentation have been sent to all staff, academic staff, email earlier this year, all right? We have uh, emailed this to everybody in USM, 
Staff Academy, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. earlier this year. All right, so you should check your email if you uh, cannot, uh, you, you have deleted and uh, or something. Just let us know. We'll email it uh, again to you. All right. So we send this before. Okay, as you know, in okay, let me just open Elan at USM first so that you uh, will know what is the blended learning. Okay, as usual, you go to login to Elan at USM. All right. Okay, use your uh, USM sign in. All right, and you, then you sign in. Okay. So, what is the blended learning criteria? I think uh, some of you might, you know, wonder when you log in your course. Okay, let me uh, log in one of my course. You will see the blended learning status here, blended status of your course here. All right, and if you have thick. If you have green tick here, meaning that you are you have your course blended. All right. Okay, all right. So you should have okay by default. Okay, by default, the KPI for blended learning is you need to have one information, seven resources, at least three activities and two assessment. If you achieve all these KPIs, like I did here, one, 20, eight activities and three assessment, you will have all ticks, all right? This KPI, okay, last year we have this KPI from, I turn editing on, Okay, you will achieve the blended learning status from here. If you have add a resource here, book, course description, and so on here, okay, you will achieve the resources, okay, the seven resources. Any of these uh, resource will add to, will add to seven resources. If you add activity from here, okay, uh, from workshop wiki and so on, you will have activity. If you would like to add to assessment, then you need to do assignment, one assignment and one quiz at least to achieve two assessment in the blended status. Okay. However, I found that most of us will be able to achieve this KPI information, of course, Resources, seven resources is very easy to achieve. Three activities is also very, very easy to achieve. However, most of us fail here. Okay, and some of us, they do a lot of activity and in include a lot of resources here, but assessment zero, and this will be crossed. Okay, I'll show you one. Okay. I'll, I'll show you one here in my other courses. All right, that I'm going to use today. Uh, it is PLT 506. Okay, this one. Oh, no, not this, not this one. My other courses that uh, I haven't got student actually in that particular course. So this course, okay, this one. Okay. All right. Ah, so most of us achieve all the KPIs, but did not achieve the assessment part. So this is what I'm going to show today. All right. And uh, because uh, I found that uh, I have so many questions on this one. Okay, how to achieve blended learning status uh, on assessment in eLearn at USM. All right, so this is what we have inter, uh, do intervention earlier this year so that 
it will be much more easier for lecturers to achieve. Okay, we have tweaked a little bit on the system so that uh, this assessment part will be much more uh, easier to achieve. All right. Uh, so this is the items here. Yeah? Uh, this is the, the things that we already know, okay, and this is on the activity side, this one in the activity in ELA, this is on the resources, and this is uh, almost everybody uh, will be able to get, all right. So now we have to do the intervention, all right. So this is in this documentation, we already uh, uh, um, do some manual about how to achieve that, all right. This is easy, uh, key information. This is also easy. However, this is our intervention. All right. So uh, uh, choose any seven items. This is the usual things. Okay. But okay, you need to. You can also achieve resources using YouTube, Teacher Tube, Vimeo, Google Site, Google Slide, and so on. Okay. I'm going to skip that because I'm going to focus on the assessment itself okay so it will be uh, much more relevant to today's uh, activity okay but you can uh, review back when you uh, after the session about this one all right so this is the assessment one this is the hardest um, that i found for lecturers to get uh, blended learning uh, status all right so before this we can only use use assignment and quiz all right assignment and quiz only from activity to achieve um, blended learning for assessment. However, all right, so we have tweaked a little bit of the system. You can use this particular keyword, all right, keywords, all right. You can use keyword assignment, quiz, workshop, gamify. Okay, if in Bahasa, you can use Tugasan, you can use quiz, and you can use Bengkel, all right. Okay, these particular keywords, all right, can be included in the label. Okay, resources item, all right. And these are the tools that you, from outside application that you can add for you to achieve blended learning assessment tools. All right. Okay, so... I'll show you how to achieve this, but remember, yeah, you can use label, okay, to post or share Kahoot or quizzes or Quizlet or app puzzle, all right? This will be counted as one resource and one assessment, all right? I'm going to show you this, how to do this, but uh, remember, last year, you can only use assignment and quiz to achieve assessment but now starting earlier this year you can use these keywords all right these keywords okay to be able to achieve one resource and one assessment okay to make it clear let me just show you okay before i start with a uh, quiz let i just show you so that you won't be um uh, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle about how to do it. All right. Remember, okay, now it is a third editing on. Right. For example, this is my course. All right. I would like to add, uh, uh, refer back to here. Okay. I would like to achieve quiz, one quiz assignment from this particular course. Okay. Now it hasn't got any item for assessment, right? Okay. It is as simple as one, two, three. Okay. Let me, okay. I have this uh, flip grid, yeah? Flip grid. I have embedded it in my e-lead. All right. This is just a sample. Uh, not yet into Quizlet. All right. So what I can do is I just go to edit. I go to edit setting for this particular flip, flip grid, yeah? I go to edit setting. All right. Okay. This is the Quizlet. No, sorry. This is the flip grid that I have embedded in my e -lead. Okay. 
So for example, this is an assignment to my student. So I just put, oh, I, this is a quiz for my, uh, my uh, student, for example. I just add the word quiz, Q, U, I, Z here. Okay, or I just give instruction to my student, please uh, complete this quiz. Remember, this is the keyword quiz by 12 p.m. today. All right. Just add this, this sentence, but with the word quiz or with the word assignment. Or with the word, what else? Workshop, gamify, tugasan, quiz or banking. Either one of these keywords, yeah. You just here, okay. And then you just save and return to course. Okay, so this is the one that I added just now. This complete this quiz by 12 p.m. today. And now, when we go to my assessment, you can see now, I have one assessment. Okay, so that's how we use that particular keywords. This particular keyword, assignment, quiz, workshop, and so on, in Label. Okay, I just added this one only. Just now. The keywords is quiz. Then you can get one assessment uh, blended learning status here. Yeah? In here. Just now I got only, I got zero here. Now it is one. Okay, it is easy, kan? All right, so. Okay, let me just uh, see the meeting chat. All right. Uh, all right, okay, I'm still blur. Okay, Hasma, I'm still blur how to insert Flipgrid in setting. Okay, uh, Hasma, uh, it is similar as Quizlet that I'm going to show later on. Okay, I am not, uh, I'm still not uh, teaching you how to insert Flipgrid or Quizlet yet. I'm just reviewing the blended learning, uh, how guidelines on how to achieve blended learning. And I'm just showing you the, how to put the keywords under label. Okay, we haven't yet uh, embed the uh, Flipgrid or Quizlet in our Elan Sabah, yeah? All right. Okay. Uh, guests can't access through the PDF. Perhaps can email to CDA. Yes. Uh, guests, you cannot uh, as uh, you cannot download the PDF, but please do email us uh, to uh, for us to resend the uh, guidelines later on. Okay. And then, does YouTube consider as one assessment or one activity? One activity, not assessment. Unless you use the YouTube as assessment, you need to give some uh, instruction on, okay, please watch this YouTube, okay? I'm going to do a quiz based on this YouTube after this class. Then the quiz will be considered. It is, depends on your instruction, okay? Uh, Dr. Fuad, I have four quiz in my course, but it still says I haven't, I have zero. Okay, kalau section itu hidden, dia tak detectkan, no. Actually, it is not because the section is hidden, Dr. Fuad. It is because you haven't tried the quiz. So, what you can do is you go uh, up here. Okay, Dr. Fuad, you go up here. You switch role to students. You try the quiz. Okay, review the quiz. Then when you have tried uh, as student, it will be counted for your assessment. Okay, Dr. Fuad? So go and change your, your role to student. Switch role to student. Okay, and then you review the quiz that you had uh, put, have you included in your course. Then after you review, the, the quiz that you have reviewed will be 
uh, getting one assessment, one assessment uh, counted in your ELIT. Okay, okay, all right, Dr. Kuat, already clear? Yes, uh, yes, uh, Vina, yes, dulu if student don't do the quiz, even though you set up, it's T0, but now you can do, you can review uh, that particular uh, quiz at, uh, by changing your role as student. Do we need to grade the answers to the quiz to be considered? No, no. All right. Uh, Jacqueline, I have mentioned just now, you don't have to uh, answer, uh, no, you don't have to grade. As long as you have reviewed, it will be counted. All right. Okay. Okay, so now I have uh, answered all your questions. So whoever need this one, okay, remember, the keyword is here. Okay, we'll send. Uh, I, I'll ask uh, uh, our staff to send it back to all um, uh, lecturers, all academic staff, so that you will be able to uh, review back. Okay, so the tool application or application that we can consider as quiz is quizzes, Kahoot, Quizlet, at Puzzle. Even though you don't push, put this keyword, but the, uh, the, the system will detect the word quizzes, Kahoot, Quizlet, or at Puzzle as quiz. It will also count. Okay, uh, these particular apps will also be counted as blended learning assessment in your e All right. Okay, let me just check. All right, okay. Um, then, so let me just go back to my course. Okay, now you know that. Uh, I just cancel here. That it is now easier for you to achieve blended learning status for your course. However, this is only quantitative, meaning that, you know, the, the more you put, the more you include, you will achieve this one. However, okay, I would like to remind you all, okay, uh, the purpose of having the cost blended is not because of the requirement of the commentarian or whatever, but it is for our students. It is actually for our students learning. Okay, we hope that, that by uh, making our cost blended, okay, especially during uh, the normal class during the face-to-face -face class and so on, your student will be much more active, all right? Like now, they have to go into e-learn and do activities and so on, so it is much more easier for you to achieve blended learning. However, the way we engage our student is, is important, all right? We need to engage our students in their own learning, okay, make the learning personalized to them, Okay, that is actually the main purpose of using eLearn for our students. All right, so uh, if you are looking at engaging your students to achieve this one, then you are really successful lah, in your uh, blended learning. It is not only the numbers are counted, but the way you engage. That's why today I'm purposely having Quizlet, okay, having Quizlet as uh, one of the ways to engage your student. All right, as well as achieving this blended status. All right, let me show you uh, my course. All right, I have shown this uh, in my um, uh, previous um, webinars here yeah? uh, last week. All right, so let me show you how uh, Quizlet is embedded in my course. This is Padlet. Okay, this is, I have got this here. Sorry, it is a bit slow because I have so many things in my e -learn. So, okay, so this, all right, this is Quizlet. Then this is my instruction to my students. All right, guys, please practice the Quizlet before our class. Uh, on 4th March 2020. So I have used this before the COVID-19, yeah? Uh, and I have embedded this in my e -learn. okay? The quiz will help you to learn more about 21st century learning. Okay, when I embed the Quizlet, the students, okay, this is the Quizlet that I have embedded in uh, my um, e -learn. okay, this particular 
course, all right? This is for them to practice, all right? You can do this as their quiz or assessment, as well as you can use this for them to practice without you being there with them, all right? Choose a, they can choose a study mode here, choose, okay. Okay, choose a study mode. They can do match, they can learn, they can test, they can do flashcard and spell, okay? So it looks easy, but actually I have done this with uh, lecturers who teach uh, math, calculus, all right? And they try this and they say, wow, this is interesting because they can do that. I did this uh, with them in a training, okay? Face-to-face -face training and they did uh, calculus. And I give them question that I actually didn't know. You know, I haven't uh, uh, learned calculus for like so many years. So I've forgotten about it. So what uh, I did was I give a question and I give her the answer and they practice it. And they said this is a quiz that can actually, although it looks simple, but it can actually help, you know, for higher or the thinking skills. But you as lecturers, you are the experts of your particular course. You need to be very creative in designing your quizlet. So your, your students will be able, for example, I'll just choose a study mode. Okay, or I'll just um, choose this one, all right? The, the one that appear in the e Okay, what is learning management system? Okay, so I'll choose this one. Okay, then if it is wrong, okay. Tadi saya salah klik ke whatever, you said collaboration, meaning that I have a uh, uh, click the, uh, wrongly, incorrectly. So, it will say study this one. All right. Okay, and then press any key to continue. All right, working to achieve a goal. All right, the student can correct. Okay. So useful tool to help you to create survey, give student quiz or collect other information in an easy way. Uh, maybe I just click, study this one. Correct answer is Google Form. All right, so the student can practice here in the e-learn. All right, and it is embedded in the e-learn. So let's say you say, okay, I'm not using e-learn, I'm using Google Classroom. Okay, or you are going to do this for your children, for example. So you can create quiz in Quizlet and then you embed in Google Classroom or whatever LMS that you have and your students or your children will be able to practice this at home. All right. So this is how I embed uh, Quizlet in my e-learn. So now let us go to Quizlet. All right. So this is the way... Uh, how we embed. Later on, I'm going to show you how to embed, but now I'm going to show you how to create your own Quizlet. All right. All right. This is Quizlet. Okay, let me just check any message. All right. So all looks good. Okay. So this is Quizlet. You go to just type in quizlet.com, quizlet.com, okay? And then you click enter. All right. Quizlet ni free, ya? Yeah. Quizlet ini free, ya, yeah. uh, Dr. Hasma? Quizlet ni free. Uh, dia ada, uh, dia ada yang, biasanya uh, saya dah guna banyak tahun dah. I have been using it for so many years. And I use the free one, but now because I like it so much and uh, the pro version is, um, has much more features, so I subscribe to the pro one. Okay, it is not that expensive around, I think, uh, for one year, less than 100. Okay, I think I have uh, subscribed for uh, three years, it is like 150. Uh, kalau tak silap lah, okay. Three dollar per month, ah, okay, then... It is good, kan? Three dollar is like three times around five lah. For three times five is fifteen ringgit a month. Okay, so I have subscribed. Um, I have subscribed uh, to the 
uh, uh, Quizlet. Okay, so uh, for you, if you haven't been using Quizlet before, you can sign up. Okay, follow step by step. Okay, you go to sign up. All right, and then uh, I always uh, sign up with my Google Google account. All right. If you don't have Google, you can just uh, put your birthday, you put your username, email, and so on, password. And I accept Quizlet terms of service and privacy policies and sign up. All right. And it will show, show you step by step. I cannot sign up again because I already signed up. All right. But you can uh, put your username, for example, nama Hasma, then you put Hasma, and then your email. Okay your email and put your password and accept, all right? And then you sign up, all right? Okay, so just get started step by step, all right? So I, I'm, I'm uh, checking uh, your question on my handphones here. So if you have question, just um, type in uh, in the chats here so that uh, I can I can uh, check in my handphone so I don't have to open this. All right. Okay. All right. So I hope that you have already signed up step by step. I'm going slow now so that, you know, if you are trying to sign up, you can sign up. All right. So then after you have signed up, okay, now I'm going to log in. Right. I'm logging with Google. All right. All right. So after you have signed up, okay, you are uh, going to see this page. All right. Okay. And your page should be with uh, this particular information. Classes help you to organize your study set and share them and so on. With this particular uh, information down here is uh, you haven't got anything, maybe one example, okay? But I have uh, many here, all right? Because I have used this uh, for quite a while, all right? So this is your name should be here, all right? And then you can create your class here, okay? For example, just create a class here, all right? Create new class, okay, C, D, A, E, class. All right, description, this is my class for CDAE training, okay? So if it is your own class in USM, just put it, uh, the code ke whatever lah, and describe what you want to do for that particular class, all right? You can allow your students to add study sets and new members. If you say, okay, you would like your student to add new study set, you can add, select a school, okay, just put USM, all right, uh, there. You put USM, already you have uh, somebody from uh, Health Campus already had this, okay, University Science Malaysia, just click, all right, tapi sebenarnya ni salah, okay, we don't spell USM like that, all right. USM should be University Science Malaysia. All right, then create class. All right, so this class have it, doesn't have any study set yet. All right, uh, before I put, uh, I add any study set, all right, you should, okay, these icons, okay, these icons will help you uh, to uh, do activities inside Quizlet, okay? Okay, for example, let me just check. Now Quizlet is free for 30 days. It is always free for 30 days, uh, Guinea. So maybe if you like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, try, okay, uh, you can, all right? This is recorded, am I right? As I am a bit slow. Yes, it is recorded, no rule, so don't worry. Okay, uh, later on after this session, uh, we have, uh, uh, we will put it in uh, YouTube so that you will be able to follow one by one. Okay, 
So I cannot be too slow. I, I know that sometimes I'm very fast. So please ask me to stop if I'm too fast. All right. So here we have tools. Okay. You can add sets. You can add members. Okay. But this is not necessary. If let's say you have this particular uh, class and you would like to add members, for example, I have a training and I would like to add you all in this particular class, I can add members here. All right. I can include the email of my students, of my trainer, uh, trainees, and then I put here and then, okay, e this bulk invitation, limit to 150 emails. All right. Or you can share, share automatic uh, link. All right. So let's say you would like to add your students, but it is hard, okay? Uh, it is hard for you to get, like put, okay, Azida here at usm.my, okay? So very hard for us to just uh, put all the emails. And for me, I'm very lazy to put all the emails here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, copy, okay, the Quizlet link, I copy. And then I was help it to my students or, uh, yeah. And then just was help, just telegram or just email, email this link, yeah, not give them this email. Okay, just email the link or uh, copy through WhatsApp and then uh, you can send invitation. Okay, I have put my uh, email here. All right, so I just send invitation. All right, okay, so one invitation sent successfully to my USM email just now. So let me just check the email. Harap-harap dia muncul lah ya. Oh, tak muncul lagi. All right. Okay, it might be in my clutter. Tak ada lagi lah. Alright. But it should be in my uh, email lah. Alright. So in your email then uh, you will be able or your students email and they should be able to see the invitation in their email. Alright. Okay. So let us. Uh, so you can invite uh, anybody your student. Okay. You can also send invitation by linking with Google classroom. So if you are going to do this for your children, for example, so you can link because schools are using Google Classroom right now. So you can link this Quizlet with Google Classroom. So it is easy. All right. Let me, let me just switch it off. Okay. So this is uh, add members, add sets. This is connect with Google Classroom if you have Google Classroom. And then this is, uh, you can edit, you can have notification, you can report, uh, report, you can delete, or you can remove members from your particular class. All right. And I have one here. You can see Erina is my uh, daughter. I have a folder for my daughter so that, you know, uh, I have, uh, I actually do quiz with my children using Quizlet. All right. And I always use, um, Quizlet live with my children, okay, me, my husband, my uh, two children, okay, and uh, we do practice sets of, for example, my son who is uh, um, form two, okay, if he uh, have difficulties in one uh, topic, uh, uh, in, the, uh, for example, uh, sejarah, history, or geography, so I'll just search here. The good thing about Quizlet, you can search for sets, all right, for uh, geography form two, for example, just search. And we can use other people's who publicly uh, share uh, their content with us, all right? So for example, this is, uh, form 2 Geography from Mrs. Bell Zim. So if I would like to use this for my children, for my son, who is Form 2, I just click here. All right. All right. And then he can log in. 
uh, okay, what is biodiversity? There are terms in uh, Queensland. So when did Typhoon Haiyan happen? And so on, this was being built by uh, the owner just now, Miss, Mrs. Belzim. Uh, okay, so this is flashcard. They can learn using learn. Okay, so uh, this is the question. Air purification, absorbing CO2 water and nutrient recycling, recycling protection against all, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 is what? Okay, D can just, uh, let me just click. Uh, then it says, study this one. Uh, definition is this one. And then correct answer. And you say evidence. Okay, I answered this one. The correct answer is this one. And this is the definition. And for those who would like to hear, who like to listen. Air purification, water and nutrient recycling, protection against soil erosion, wildlife habitats, biodiversity, employment opportunities, carbon sink. All right. So they can listen as well. Services that the TRF supplies. Evidence for long-term climate change. All right. So... You can press any key to continue. And how tropical storms are measured or categorized? Uh, I don't know. I just uh, quote. Huh, correct. All right. And then it will go on and go on. Okay, in the middle, it will stop. All right. So you can search anything in a quiz, like calculus, for example. All right, go to calculus. Ah, so there are sets that we can use. Okay, if let's say you found this one bestseller, meaning that they sell this, you have to buy this. But you know you don't have to buy. Okay, there are so many free ones here that you can review. And sometimes you, what you can do is, for example, you choose this one. All right, calculus. All right, and then sometimes they give uh, access to edit. All right, so this is the terms. Later on, I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, and then you can copy. Okay, you can customize. And you can create a new study sets based on other people's sets. All right, uh, uh, so this is calculus, calculus formulas. All right, and then this is the one that uh, the real owner did earlier but you can change it all right so you are going to put the term here and the definition here or if let's say you are doing something uh some calculation you can put the uh, uh question here and the answer here and they have to uh, do the calculation um on paper Okay, then they can answer. This is student pace uh, quiz. It is not a lecturer pace quiz. So they can take their own sweet time to calculate. All right. So this is, you can, uh, for this one just now, I show you, you search. You go to search for someone's account. And then you go to, um, you go to uh, customize. When you click customize, it will show you this, all right? And don't worry, sometimes I think that lecturers are worried because um, uh, if, let's say, uh, you you don't want to allow uh, people to uh, use your quiz uh, easily, something like that, all right? So you can make it, okay? This one is now visible to everyone. You can change the visibility to certain classes only, Uses this password or just me. All right. So editable only just me. All right. Or you can also customize in certain classes uses this password. So don't worry if you don't want people to use your quiz um, without your permission. Just make it visible to certain classes. Okay. Or uses with password. For example, if you would like the quiz only being are done by your students so you can add a password 
all right and give them the password so on your student will be able to um do the quiz so people can't necessarily uh, easily uh, um, edit your quiz like this all right so i'm i'm just uh, going to leave this uh, for a while because we are going to create okay yeah uh, Dr. Hasmas, Dr. Azida, sorry, I'm lost. After we choose the cards, what's to do? Uh, all right. Uh, wait, Dr. Hasmas, I'll answer Dr. Wu first. Uh, when we use others publish activity from the internet in our Quizlet, does this raise plagiarism issue? No, because, you know, uh, in Quizlet, they went, uh, for example, if the, they don't want people to use this, okay, you should check the privacy when you click, uh, when you log in, you, you uh, create your activity just now. You have the, apa? Uh, biasanya kita tak baca kan, we don't really read the terms and condition. In the terms and condition, they say that if you make it visible, uh, uh, visible to everyone, they will be able to use and so on. So we are not plagiarized. But if you don't want people to use or plagiarize, then you change the visibility to uh, with password and so on. Then if you put that and people still use it, then uh, you can uh, summon them. Lah. But if it is visible and you put only editable by me, then if people use, it is plagiarism. But if we search and then we can edit and so on, it means that the owner allow us to edit their uh, quiz. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Hasma, I'm, go I'm going to show you one by one. Okay. I'm going to show you uh, uh, how to create. Okay. So don't worry because uh, I'm not that fast. All right. Okay. So now let us go back to Quizlet. Just now I, I just to show you how to search and how to edit. But we haven't we haven't created our own Quizlet. Okay, Dr. Asma. So now what we can do is we are going to create a new set for our student. All right. We don't search, but we are going to create. All right. So this is your dashboard. Okay. Now, if you would like to create, just go to create. Okay. So uh, in your left hand side, you have home. You don't have premium content, I think, because premium content is the subscriber and you have settings here. All right. Setting is. All right. Uh, so you have a Quizlet teacher account. So this is a, uh, my subscription. Lah. All right. So this is a, uh, all my uh, settings here. All right. So. Let us, now we are going to create a new set. Okay, you go to create. Okay, so remember, this is an auto save set. Don't worry uh, uh, if you forget to uh, save your uh, quiz. Okay, it is auto save. Okay, when you are while you are creating the sets. Okay, why I have this kesan kelajuan mantah dan gender. Okay, what I always do in my class is during my class when students present, I always open my Quizlet. This page. What I did it was uh, when they presented, I create a new study set based on their presentation. Okay, then I type in the title from their presentation and then I put the description and then I enter whatever uh, they have presented here and then immediately after the presentation, we are going to have quiz based on their presentation. And my students like it so much. It is in face to face, but it can also be embedded in the e -learn. All right, so it, you can do it uh, two in one. Okay, and to create this new study set is simple. All right. So for today, I'm going to create a new study set. Uh, I have prepared. 
uh, in my Word document. Okay, so this is uh, the Quizlet question. I'm just, this is some, just uh, some sample, okay? So I'm just going to copy this one and then okay, just put the title first. This is uh, apps to apps in ICT education. All right, uh, just I put the title apps in ICT education and title please uh, or description, please. Uh, can we insert audio file in the set? Uh, yes, but you need to have pro accounts. All right. Uh, audio uh, pictures need to have pro accounts, but it is $3 per month only. So I don't think it is, you know, if you would like to add audio, please do subscribe. It is not that, uh, apa orang kata, mahal sangat lah kan? All right. So, uh, yes. Uh, I, I like it so much, that's why I uh, uh, bought the pro account, which is not that much, okay. Uh, I'm not a promoter of Quizlet, but, you know, when I like it, I do subscribe uh, because it is beneficial to my students, all right. Okay, so please uh, uh, match the apps to be used in your classroom okay put any description that you like okay so when you create a new study set as uh, just now uh, dr wu uh, mentioned us okay if let's say you don't want somebody else to use your new uh, study set please change this one all right so visible to everyone okay you can change uh, certain classes maybe all right, I put it as CDAE class. All right, and then uh, editable only just me, meaning that the other people cannot edit this. All right, at the moment, I'm going to just put it everyone. I don't mind, all right? So if you are conscious about people using your uh, content, okay, just put it, certain classes, users with password or just me, it's up to you, all right? and editable certain classes uses this password or only you can edit this set and then you can save okay all right so then add an annotated diagram you can actually uh, this one uh, is available for free account yeah so let's say you want to teach anatomy, for example, and you would like to put uh, anatomy's uh, diagram in this particular uh, annotated diagram, you can go choose an image and it will appear here. Okay, and then from the, let us just try. Okay, because I, I, I did not, uh, okay, uh, no. I haven't got a, uh, annotated uh, diagram but the the annotated diagram will help you in terms of you know if let's say you have a diagram and you would like to point a uh, certain place for certain uh, terms or whatever it will click that all right okay so you can try this later all right so enter term okay so i have here voice thread okay i'm putting it here okay it is my thread okay and then I put the definition here all right and you, you can see when I put voice thread actually the definition is you can choose the definition uh, that uh, being put here automatically in Quizlet. All right, so this is my uh, definition, but uh, Quizlet uh, did uh, suggest a software similar to a photo story that has pictures allow you to talk or type. Okay, let me just click here. Uh, then it will change to uh, Quizlet propose uh, definition. Okay. No worries about that. Okay. And the poplet. Let me just copy poplet. 
and put it here. Okay, then definition. Ah, so you know the definition appear here. Ah, so I just copy this one. Easier, but panjang sangat. But ah, wait. I'll just remove this. It's too long. Use the mark. Ah, okay. So this one. All right. Then screencast automatic. I just put it here. Okay. Ah, so dia kata, oh, mesti besar. So then, change PowerPoint story to video story. Alright. Or free online video recording tool. Okay. Just put that. Alright. And then, Gloucester. Okay, my suggestion is, is you if you have uh, any difficult uh, or uh, very complicated, just a complicated subject, just put the terms, term as the question and the definition as answers. So the whatever, um, whatever um, process between the question and the answer uh, will be done by student outside Quizlet and when they have finished doing that particular uh, process, they will uh, click on the answers. All right. All right. So I'm just going to put some more uh, here. With some more terms and answers. Okay. Further. Okay. And online website used to okay. So let's say the, the default is five terms and definitions. So you can add card here. All right. So add card. Hi Ting Ling. Right. Just put Ting Ling. Put it here. Click at the definition. And click. All right. And then add another card. Okay, so I'll put haiku deck. All right, haiku deck. Then definition. Okay, done. Okay, I'm going to just to put uh, seven uh, terms and uh, seven definition. All right, then I, when I have done this, all right, so for pro account, I can add image here, uh, but uh, for free accounts, you can't add image. Okay, you cannot add image. Lah. So that's why I have this particular image here so that I'm able to uh, add the image. Then I click create. Okay, it is saving. Now I have apps in ICT education. All right. So nice set. Would you like to share it? You can send it via email to someone that you like to share. It's or, 11 o'clock. Or you can copy link. All right. And also you can share in Google Classroom. Okay. Or you can share using Remind. Okay, I can hear somebody voice. Do you have any question or you just log in? All right. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, leave it uh, for now. Okay. So this is the 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 uh, sets that I had created just now. Okay, so by default, it is uh, using flashcard. The study set is, is, is in flashcard. All right, so I have flash voice thread and so on all right okay then if your students would like to learn all right a software similar to photo story that has pictures and allows you to talk or type about them okay uh, let me put it this one okay correct okay and online website used to create a work cloud Okay, okay, I just choose a uh, wrong, okay, uh, incorrect answer, okay, so uh, online, this is uh, what students will get, all right, 
recent he to uh, continue use as a mind map uh, Gloucester. Salah juga. Alright. Just press any key. I would like to end this one. Okay. Interactive graphic. Okay. Let me salah. Alright. And then Haiku deck. Alright. And then Gloucester. Alright. Free online video. Screen casomatic. My map, my map, my map is tingling code. Okay, study this one. And then, all right. Okay, correct. Okay. So, it will go and go on, go on with Wordle. All right. Uh, my map, my map, popular. All right. Okay. Then, the student will be able to get this lah. Okay, keep it up. You are doing great. So, if we are embedding this in our elet, they will also see a similar uh, message like this. All right. Okay, you can go back. All right, you can go back. And okay, okay. Remember, who for those who attended a PMP courses, right? PMP courses. Uh, we always do the live uh, Quizlet in uh, the PMP courses, okay? We use the same set, but we have of, uh, uh, that we did live. Uh, it is a collaboration quiz, okay? You can try using live in your uh, class, okay? All right, a uh, one here said I have created the class, then what to do? I am lost, not getting the same screen as yours. Uh, one, have you created the class or you have created the sets? Ah, creating the class is different from creating the sets. Ah, you might have, ah, I think you have created the class. You, and I am now creating the set. Okay. So you go here, what? You go here and go step by step. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, so now this is the set. Okay, tak apa. Kalau you tertinggal, nanti we, we are recording the session. So you can go back and see the recording session later on. Yeah, what? Okay. Okay, so this is the set that I have created just now. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we are going to embed this in Elen. Okay. Uh, before that, okay, in this particular study, all right, we have learned, we have write, we have spell, we have test, we have uh, for uh, play, match, gravity, and life. So life is, uh, we can do it in our classroom, okay, life session. Okay, the teacher will uh, click live like this. Okay. All right. How would you like to play? Okay. Then uh, individuals and teams. The one that we usually use in PMP is team, whereby the uh, students or the participant will be selected in teams and they will uh, be located in teams uh, randomly and they are going to do, uh, discuss the quiz uh, together. All right, and choose the right answer from one of the phones, the handphones of the group members. If individual, it is something similar like Kahoot. All right, where uh, the the but the the questions and answer will appear in their handphones. Okay, but their name will be listed uh, in front of the class. Okay, so you can choose individuals and teams. All right, this is for in class games. Or quiz, okay. So, I'm I'm not able to teach you uh, this today. All right. So this is, but this is how you uh, uh, conduct or you you can do whatever you have done uh, sets in uh, Quizlet to be able to put it in Elet as well as to do the quiz in your classroom. 
Uh, Nurul, doctor, can you click on test as I want to see the form of the test based on the term you created just now. Test, all right. Uh, let me click on the test. Okay, it is written question. Use as a mind map help students to learn. So it is like a um, question and answer. So let me just use as a mind map help students to learn visually. So it is popular. Okay, and then uh, wordle. Matching question. Okay, it will randomly uh, do the test for you. Two written question, two matching questions in your rule, and then two multiple choice questions, and one true or false. All right. So this is under test here. All right. So matching question, just okay. A social networks. Okay. So a social matching question. So how do I match? One is. Um, free interactive posters and clock also cluster lah. Cluster, maybe do I type here? Jangan, saya pun tak pernah guna yang ni. I type. Masukkan A dengan B aku. Masuk A dengan B. Oh, okay, okay, betul betul. But thank you, thank you. Ah, and B. Alright, thank you. So multiple choice question, first online video recording to and then web and iPad base. Ah, saya just belasah ya. Alright. Okay, saja nak tengok what happened if it is uh, wrong, incorrect. So true and false question, a software similar to photo story, just letak saja. Alright, and then click answers. Alright, so betul, betul, it is correct. Okay, correct. Okay, correct. Ah, uh, this one is incorrect. All right, and then true false question true. Okay, ah, uh, then you can create new test. All right. So this is how test yeah, Dr. Nurul, ah, uh, being done. So the grade is eighty six percent created by the system. So let's say uh, I did this uh, in the class sets that I mentioned just now, I created earlier the CDAE uh, training whatever just now, so when the students log in as students the grade will appear in their grading uh, list okay, so now I'm doing it as uh, myself, so I haven't got the grade and I haven't got students in here lah, okay but if you uh, go back to your class Okay, uh, just now, uh, let me just go to Quizlet. All right, so classes just now, if I created this particular quiz under CDAE class, then I have you all as my students uh, log in. I'll be able to detect who get 86, who get 90s, and so on from the list of my students. All right, so you will get the marks for everybody in this particular class. All right, so you can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to embed this in ELIP so that my students, they don't have to log in here, but they can do the practice in ELIP. All right, so under here, okay, this is the process that you need to know. Okay, let me go back to Elon first. All right, I'm going to put this in okay, my, this particular course. Is PLG five point six. Not this one. This one. All right. So let us put it in my PLG. Uh, 545 okay that 
hasn't got one assessment to be ticked as green. Okay, now I have one that I've created just now. Okay, I'm going to put this particular Quizlet under this Education 4.0, all right, as a quiz. Contohnya lah ya, under this one. All right, remember just now, okay, remember, uh, I go back to this particular assessment, two items, all right to items here. So, uh, I'm going to put it as assignment. All right. And then I'm going to put it as Quizlet. So, what I'm going to do is, okay, remember, just use label. You don't have to go to activity, but you add a resource under label. Okay. Satya. Yeah. The line is quite slow for um, my e-learn is quite heavy actually because I have so many many things is in my e-learn so uh, it is usual that it is very slow. Okay, so adding new label so for uh, for you to use whatever that you have in this particular list here from up here if you would like to add keywords for example for activities. Uh, attendance, chat, and so on. If you would like to take attendance using Padlet, for example, remember to just use label. Okay. Uploading file is uh, using the same uh, things uh, as the setting in Moodle, but whatever uh, extras that you are using, for example, Padlet, you use label so that it will be counted as activity or in here, using label to add the Quizlet for your assessment. Okay, so I'm going to use the word assignment. Okay, and then Quizlet. All right, so I'm going to go here. Okay, adding label. Okay, remember how you can embed the Quizlet? You need to maximize this one. Don't forget to maximize. This is the one to minimize as well as to maximize. Okay, and remember also, we need to use these particular tools, HTML. All right, so let us put the instruction first. Okay, dear students, this is an assignment to be done by all of you before our class on Monday. Monday. All right. So remember, I have this keyword assignment. Okay. All right. So uh, please try this. Quizlet. Okay. Uh, okay lah tu. Okay. Whatever instruction that you want to put, just uh, do this. Okay. But remember, you need this particular instruction with this particular uh, keywords. Alright. Assignment. Remember? Uh, takut lupa kan? So, the keyword is assignment, quiz, workshop, gamify, tugasan. Quiz or bengkel. All right. So go here. Okay. Now just remember we have to click HTML to embed our Quizlet. So go to HTML. All right. It will appear like this. Okay. Tak cantik but it's okay. Just leave it like that. You go to your Quizlet. Okay, this is the Quizlet uh, apps in ICT education that I have created just now. Okay. Under here, you have add this set to a class, meaning that if I would like to add this set to my CDA class, I can. All right, just click here. If I would like to edit, I will click here. If I would like to share, I just click here. But in here, there is no embed code. All right, if you would like to share via email or copy link or you share in Google Classroom, you click share here. 
this is some information. This is view class progress. If let's say you have students in this particular class, you can view your student progress here. But at the moment, I don't have any students here, so I won't be able to view class progress. Lah. Okay. And this one, okay, the triple click dot, the triple dots here is the one where you can embed. Okay, remember, it is under the triple dots. You go down, down. You can also print if you want. If you go combine, you can export. You can embed. So you click embed. Okay, so you can choose here. Yeah? You want to uh, embed which one? Okay, so when you click learn, this particular learn here will change. But don't worry, when you embed, they can actually change whether they would like to learn ke, match ke, test ke, flashcard ke, or whatever. All right. So just, okay, let me just put test. All right. Okay, test, embed, and I'm going to copy HTML. So I'm going to here. All right. Remember, just, okay, I, I mentioned in my earlier uh, webinar that uh, P meanings uh, paragraph. Sebenarnya, ya, bahasa HTML, P is paragraph, B is B with the tiga, tiga, uh, tutup and close to adalah a break. Alright. Then you just go here. Just now you have copy. Then you control V. And now you have paste the embed code in here. Alright. So you, to see whether you have successfully embed, go back to the HTML. All right, okay, then uh, see, it is a test. Okay, uh, dah nampak tu kan? You can see the, the test is being embedded. All right, okay. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous webinar, you can put common module setting, you can restrict access. For example, your class, you would like to add restriction, you can add restriction. All right, uh, this is important, activity completion. If, let's say, you would like, your students, uh, you would like to uh, check whether your students had done the uh, Quizlet in eLearn at USM so that you don't have to monitor here in Quizlet. All right. So you can go here at ad activity completion. You can choose whether you want your student to manually mark. Okay. Or you just want them to just uh, do indicate any activity and completion, it is just, uh, you know, you just want them to test and so on without giving marks, you can use this, all right? So, so you have only two choice here. So they can manually mark the activity as completed or do not indicate any activity completion, all right? So, and then you can enable this if you like. Okay, I'll just leave it, all right? Because, uh, I cannot enable because I don't indicate any activity completion, all right? If, let's say, you put that, then you can enable the date, all right? Okay, so then I'm going to save and return to course. Okay, so under here, I've got my Quizlet, all right? And... Okay, dear students, all right, so free online recording tool, they can uh, directly type, okay, screen, cast, hey, mana dia? okay, screen, cast, phonetic, all right, use as my map, apa tadi ah, popular, all right, matching question, uh, B, A, Multiple choice question, kita just belas tas sini. Alright, put whatever. Alright, and then true or false. Okay, then they will check answers. I got 71%. Alright, so this is practicing in ELIT. So they don't have to go to uh, our Quizlet to do the quiz. Alright. Uh, so, they can also choose a study mode if they like, okay, you can just change match, okay, 
it will change. Okay, make everything disappear. I will start game. Uh, okay, poplet. Uh, poplet, poplet, poplet. This one. Alright. Screencast automatic. Um, free online video recording too. Okay, and online web to use created near Wooden. Alright, tingling. This one. Haiku deck. This one. Lobster, this one. Settle. Alright. Ha, great first start. So, can you do even better? Ah, Alright. So, uh, lepas tu ada keluar dia. Azida, to 29.0 seconds. Leaderboard. So, you know, you, your student will be able to see their, now, uh, the leader, the, the board, you know, uh, their friends, how did their friends do in terms of matching just now. Okay, so it is a game within Elan as well. So when you embed this, your student will be able to see. Okay, let me just check. Can they try the quiz many times? Yes, they can try the quiz many times. It uh, it depends. Okay, uh, so but yes, uh, uh, it is uh, for me for Quizlet. I don't use it as a, a you know a formative test, but it is more towards engaging them in the content itself. Okay, so they can try. If, then you can play again and so on. All right. Okay, how do we get the report of student answers, time, and scores? Okay, you can if you would like to use the Quizlet on uh, for tests and scores, you should. Go to Quizlet and add the quiz in your uh, class. Okay, meaning that your student need to enroll in the class that you have created in Quizlet. All right, then the scores and whatever test. Okay, first you need to add the test, uh, the study sets in your class. Then the students also need to be enrolled in this particular class. And all the data for their test will be recorded in this particular class. So you will be able to see it under uh, sets just now, kan? Uh, the set this one, all right, when you click here. And then you will be able to see their progress here. Okay, uh, because now I have no progress yet, okay? So because I haven't got students in here. So you can view glass progress here, okay, if you have students. How do you add students to the class? Just now I have created the, this one, okay, CD class. Okay, I add this. Okay, so in your class, you can, no, I said add student to this class. So you go to your class, add student, Either, remember earlier I said, share this link with your students. You copy this link and you accept them or you just uh, send email to them. All right. Uh, let me check whether Azida at USM already uh, got the email. Let us see. Quizlet. Ha, okay, this one. Quizlet. Invitation to join CDA class, so you students will see this one. Okay, a Quizlet user, Azida, has invited you to join a class. So your student will be able to uh, see this in their email, and they have to click accept invitation. Uh, then, jeng, 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 jeng. Okay. For written questions uh, in text. Uh, okay, see. So Ah, so dah uh, add lah, okay. I hear somebody opening their voice. All right. Ah, uh, can the for written question in test? Can we set a word limit to the answer? Because ah, uh, Dr. Jacqueline, ah, uh, we are uh, putting the answers ah uh, uh, terms and definition. Can ah uh, when we put the terms and definition. The question will ask you about the terms, not the definition. All right. It is not uh, like you are doing an essay question in Quizlet. It is much more easier. 
uh, terms and uh, usually it will ask you the terms and match the terms and the um, uh, definitions. All right. Let me check. Uh, Tak ada tak ke soalan? Alright. Uh, I, I think there is no uh, question. Alright. So now we have added here. Okay. The quiz just now kan. Dalam e-learn. Alright. So let us see my blended status. Already. To assessment. Okay, just now ada satu kan. Uh, now, I have one uh, added in my assessment. Now, I have achieved blended learning status. Okay, so remember, go here. Just use the keywords in label. Okay, so that the system will catch up the uh, keywords. And the system will be able to recognize it as assessment in blended status. Easy kan? It is much more easier. Other than definition, what type of question we can ask? Okay, so often you can ask any question actually, but you must be creative. Okay, Let, let's say if let's say uh, you have uh, my, uh, some things like um, maths or science, okay, you just have the, ans uh, the question and the answer only. Okay, just put a uh, question. Okay, what is condensation? Co whatever lah, condensation. Yeah. Okay, then the answer. The student will be able to answer the question or they will do the process, whatever process, for example, in maths, you just give the question and the answer. All the processes will be done outside Quizlet. All right. You can be creative in terms of creating the question and the answers, but the processes will be done by the students outside Quizlet because this particular quiz is student paced. All right, so up to you. Okay, and then uh, Dr. Nazri, uh, wait, can you please explain again the uh, difference between label and far under resources in our ELEN at USM? Okay, so Dr. Nazri, in our ELEN, all right, under resources, okay, under resource, at the resource, we have uh, this one. This is by default here yeah, of the system, the uh, ELEN system. We have file and so on. Okay, by default, it is considered as resource, okay, resources, book, file, for example, you share an ebook, you upload your PowerPoint, you upload your words and so on it will consider as resources, okay? But we have used the label, okay? Don't be confused. We are using the label as uh, activity. This is uh, our, our own intervention for this particular, um, our ELEN. This is uh, CDAE and uh, PPKT's intervention so that, you know, you have much more variety to be added as blended learning um, to add your blended uh, for your blended learning status because some lecturers say okay I cannot uh, uh, get the blended learning status because of I don't have assessment I do assessment using Kahoot for example I use assessment using a uh, Quizlet and it is not being recognized by the system so we have tweaked a little bit of the system so that if you put if you include Quizlet, okay, you include um, Kahoot, or for activity, you use Padlet. I, I think most of us are using Padlet so much, right? Like me lah. So if you use Padlet, you put the word Padlet as uh, attendance ke, as forum ke, or discussion ke, then it'll, it will recognize it as activity, okay? This is only for our system. Because we would like to recognize the student activity that is not by default uh, appear from the LMS, but you are using uh, apps, outside apps. All right. So the label here, uh, we have tweaked a little bit. 
so that it can be activity or assessment. Other than that, if you don't put the keyword assignment ke, label, uh, not label, uh, padlet ke in that particular label here, uh, it will consider as resources. Okay, a resource only. It won't be considered as activity or assessment. It will only uh, recognize as activity or assessment if you use this particular keyword. So these keywords are for activity and these particular keywords are for assessment. All right. Okay, I hope it is clear, yeah, Dr. Nazri. All right. Uh, the answer, is the answer hidden from students? Yes, it is hidden from students until they have done the quiz. Yeah, Dr. Hasma? All right. Okay, so we have another, oh, it is already 11.30. All right, so do you have any more questions that you would like to ask me before I end the session? Okay, I remember just now, I think it was Nurul Lukut. Okay, uh, uh, earlier, yeah, I was asking about the flip grid. Okay, I just, uh, it is similar, okay? I know that some of the students, they, uh, the students, they like to do flip grid. Have you heard of flip grid? It, this is the flip grid. Okay, just now somebody asked me about the flip grid. Okay, so. Okay. Sekejap, uh, sekejap ya, all right. Uh, okay. So let's say you would like to uh, put flip grid. This is my flip grid, yeah. Flip grid ni, uh, it is an app for students to add video. You can go to flipgrid.com, okay. And this is flipgrid.com. You just type in and you can uh, put your uh, flip grid. Uh, uh, you can do activities in flip grid and you can also embed it in eLearn to achieve uh, the activity. All right. Let me just show you what I have done here. Okay, uh, there is a flip grid. Okay, this is this one. PPK331E, my students had done this, all right. So, I embed flip grid in my e as well. What you can see here is, if, uh, you know, all right. So, this is the, uh, the, 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 the question is, in the flip grid, send a message to Vitya. Vitya was Dr. Radia and Dr. Sophia's student uh, past semester, yeah, who he's a blind student. Okay. Uh, then my students are doing some review of X. All right. So I asked them, because Vitya can't see, all right, I asked them to post a video, okay, uh, to tell her what do they suggest, apps that they suggested to Vitya to use to help her in studying in USM. All right, so that was me. Okay, this is Shafiq. Okay, I have many students who had uh, sent their video here. All right, you can see that how uh, happy they were to send their video. Okay, let us see Muhammad. Okay, you just click here. Hi, Vitya. Uh, nama saya Muhammad Ikram bin Abdul Rahman. Okay. Berdasarkan apa yang rakan-rakan sekelas saya cadangkan pada minggu lepas. Ignore, ignore the, the 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 translation here. I don't know why it disappearing. But I will read it. Aplikasi untuk mereka yang mempunyai masalah penglihatan. Uh, bagi saya, salah satu aplikasi yang menarik ialah uh, Tap Tap C. Yang mana aplikasi ini yang boleh membantu mereka yang mempunyai masalah penglihatan dengan hanya kita mengambil gambar contohnya right. kita mengambil gambar you don't gambar. have to listen all this all right then you can also see another students uh, okay let me just see another students the line is a bit slow now you just tutup all right let's say if you want to see Udin's post hi Vidya saya Muhammad Fatul Razi saya menjadikan aplikasi risk Stats of Scan kepada Vidya kerana apps ini dapat membantu Vidya untuk mengimbas teks atau tulisan yang terdapat pada buku dan nota-nota kuliah Vidya. Dengan menggunakan apps ini, Vidya dapat membaca teks yang terdapat di sekeliling Vidya. Alright, okay. So this is uh, the the task that my student had done and I embedded it in my e-learning. 
All right, the one that I just now uh, add, added the please complete this quiz by 12 p.m. today kan. Tadi I add the quiz, perkataan quiz tu yang mendatangkan uh, blended one assessment here just now. All right, so let me just show you. Uh, okay, let's say you have the flip grid here. Okay, so uh, if you want to have a flip grid session that I can do another flip grid session for you all later on. Okay, but not today. Just if let's say you have this particular flip grid and you would like to share it with your student. So it is easy. Okay, let me just uh, cari yang lain pula. Okay, uh, to be embedded. Okay, let's say this is training. So I would like to share the training. Share, I just. Okay, this is copying the uh flip grade kan so remember this is the um uh, icon for copy embed code it is similar as what we did in quizlet just now copy the embed code and then you go to your course in elet and then let's say i would like to put it somewhere uh, here lah kan okay i add a resource okay and then i go to label All right, and then maximize, okay, please do this flip grid assignment by tomorrow, tomorrow, okay, then click, then enter, then click the HTML, okay, just now we had Copy this one, okay? Copy, and then you go here back, and then you just com uh, control V, all right? Uh, just ignore that one, and then you just go back to HTML. Then your flip grid is being embedded. So let us just save. Uh, selalunya I I malas nak fikir tentang this one. I just save and return to course. Then, now you can see this one. Please do the flip, this split grid assignment by tomorrow. So, this is the flip grid that I have I had embedded just now. It is loading the topics. Uh, okay, please include your reflection for today's workshop. This is uh, one of my trainings, actually. Uh, all right. Uh, so, you can see. Uh, this this was my uh, my attend the attendees of my uh, uh, training. So let uh, let me see. Okay, this is the first time I am recording myself. Obviously, this is very hard. <laughs> Having gone through the blended learning workshop, I think I'm exposed to a lot of um, new technologies and tools out there, which would have helped me in improving my e-learn, engaging uh, students in different ways. All right. So you can try flip, flip read, okay, in this uh, uh, particular using this PKPMCO time where you, uh, you know, your students, you need to interact with your students, but sometimes we feel like we are out of um, ideas on how to interact with your students, with, with our students. You can use this flip grid, you know, give them questions on the topic of that you are going to, uh, or you had uh, teach or you had do the online session, face-to-face -face online virtual uh, meetings with them, okay, and then after the class, you can ask them, okay, I have created a, a flip grid session for you, please post your uh, reflection or your understanding or whatever in this particular flip grid. And from my experience with me, with my PPK PPK 331E students, my PG, PLG and so on, okay, because they are digital natives, they don't, they are not worried about uh, exposing themselves in uh, using video. They like it so much. They are able to give reflections using video feedbacks and so on using flip grid, okay. I think uh, you should try this, okay, later on, okay. 
And I think uh, for now, that's, that is, that's for me. Okay, remember, okay, for CPD points for USM lecturers, please, okay, Puan Zana uh, uh, or CDAE has uh, included, included the feedback form here. Okay, you can see in my screen, it is bit.ly slash AAZBL Quizlet. Okay, please fill in the feedback forms for you to be able to get the CPD points. And remember the uh, feedback forms is only open for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes only. So please do it as soon as possible for you to be able to get the CPD points. Okay, after 20 minutes, we are not going to open the feedback form anymore. Even if you watch the YouTube uh, channel later on for the recorded we are not going to give you cpd points sorry yeah okay thank you very much for attending this session today so i hope that you have uh, benefits from this particular uh, session okay thank you dr fuad sama sama daun keladi juga all right how do i get the feedback form uh, Jacqueline, it is in the you can scroll back up in the uh, chats here okay under important all right, just click this one and you will be able to see the feedback, feedback form here. Yeah? Okay, thank you everybody for attending. All right, I hope that you will use Quizlet later on in your classroom. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, have a good day and take care. Yeah? Stay safe. Bye.